Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for one of my favorite videos of the month, the Sheet Load Showcase. I hope you'll stick around and see what all of my collaborators created using the October 2021 Sheet Load of Cards. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're newer to my channel or to sheet load of cards, each month I like to stop by with a special video where I showcase the cards that my team of collaborators created using the latest edition. Up on screen now is a look at all of the wonderful creators on my team and in the description box below is a link to their YouTube channels, Instagram accounts, and blogs. Once you're done with this video here, I hope that you'll go visit them and leave them some love. Speaking of my collaborators, this month's edition was a little extra special as the sketch was inspired by one of my collaborators. As you could probably tell from the printable, that is Creative Chelsea. I talked about it in the debut and process videos, but I saw one of her cards on Instagram and fell in love and asked if I could recreate it for a sheet load of cards. So not only was her sketch featured in the issue, but you might have also recognized her cards in the video thumbnail. Thanks again, Chelsea, for your inspiration. If you haven't yet seen the October videos or downloaded that free printable, I will have the debut video and the process video linked in the description box below, so you can check those out and find out how to download this for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. And in the process video, I give lots of good tips for this month, especially if you're going to use the paper ribbon behind the circle, how to do that easily. Let's go ahead and see what my collaborators have created. Before we get to those cards, I do have a special channel member shout out. I would like to give a great big thank you and welcome to my newest paper trimmer level member, Carmen Broxma. Thank you so much, Carmen, for your support. If you're ever interested in finding out more about channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. First up on the YouTube team is Debbie of Project 39 Mini Albums. I am loving that light blue and kind of burgundy color combo in the background and those cute little focal points, especially the little animals. Karen Aiken has created a set of eight wonderful birthday cards. I especially like how she used the vellum behind her die cut sentiment word and that fun confetti circle. Toby, aka Biddy Penny, was inspired by the October 2021 sheet load to create a set of slimline cards. Like I always say, make sheet load your own and she certainly has. And now to the creator who inspired this month, Creative Chelsea. For her set, she has rotated the sketch and she has used some metallic vine die cuts as her focal point. I am just loving these. Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts created a set of Halloween cards using the latest sheet load. I like how she switched up her focal points on the cards. It makes a nice variety. Teresa of Fresh and Renewed with Teresa used some bright fun papers and ephemera to create this set of autumn slash fall cards. First up on the Instagram team is Mariah of Fuzzy Slippers Designs and I really like how she has used ribbon for her little decoration in the background and her focal point is a square. 
Also, if you look close, you'll notice that she has matted her torn pieces with some pattern paper, and I think that just makes that little part showing through a little extra fun. Stacy, aka Craftaholic Mama, created this set of fun, cheery Halloween cards. I'm loving all of the different pattern papers and those cute little focal points. At Lizzie's Happy Mail has created this beautiful set of floral cards. I am loving that focal image and the pattern papers that she chose. Jessica of at Jessie Kate Creates also created a set of fun and bright Halloween cards. If you look closely at the centers of those, you'll notice that a lot of them have texture. What a fun addition to the cards. Lisa, aka at Scrapbook Girl on Instagram, created a set of Christmas cards with October. I like how she has moved her focal point to the top of the card. And not only is that little polar bear adorable, but he is sitting on top of a vellum snowflake die cut. Beautiful. Sandy of the Stamp with Sandy blog also created some Christmas cards. I like how she has kind of two different sets in the different colorways and the texture on the focal point is just awesome with that vellum die cut and then those fibers behind the image and sentiment. And last but certainly not least is Pam of the Airborne Wife Stamping blog. She also has created a set of Christmas cards with the latest issue and you really have to get a good look at those focal points, all of the details. I am absolutely in love with the poinsettia. Wow, each month they blow me away. If you agree, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and make sure to go and leave them some love on their individual sites. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.